Hi, my name is Kevin McKinney with IT Strategies Group. I wanted to talk to you today about using uh, cloud storage as a target for your, your backups for your environment. Uh, it is something that many companies are offering as solutions. Uh, some are having you back up directly to the cloud, others are having you back up to a local device, and then that is replicated to the cloud. Great reasons to do cloud backups. Probably the biggest one is that your data is already off-site. So in the event of a disaster, you have an off-site copy that you can use for recovery. Uh, one of the downsides that is often overlooked in backup design is the time it takes to recover that data or bring that data back from the cloud in the event of a disaster recovery. Uh, assuming you have a 200 megabit circuit or better, um, you're looking and you're getting 50% of that circuit during the recovery process, which is, is asking a lot because there's a lot of traffic usually going on during the recovery. Uh, but assuming you get 50%, a one terabyte will take about 24 hours to bring back down from the cloud. While that might not seem like a long time, it is when you consider that that's just the first step of a recovery. Now you have to take that image or that information, that those data backups, and you have to restore them to the individual devices. That can take upwards of another 24 hours or so. So if your, your RTO recovery time objective is 48 hours and you got a terabyte or less, you're probably in pretty good shape. Once you start pushing past the terabytes, um, you get the 1.5 terabytes, two terabytes, now you're looking at 96 hours total recovery time by the time you bring it back over the wire and then recover it to the systems. There are some shortcuts. Some solutions offer the ability to uh, they'll back up or take that data and move it to a device and then mail that device overnight, that device to you. Uh, but they're also limited to one terabyte uh, at a, a per day. So again, you're, you're, you're hitting that terabyte threshold and that can add some substantial time to your recovery efforts. Something to keep in mind as you're moving forward. Thanks again, Kevin McDaniel, IT Strategies Group.